everybody, this is Nia Fire. I'm here after two weeks with COVID without any makeup whatsoever on. You know, I've had a few days without makeup and I said, I'm going to do this video without any makeup, you know, just uh, be myself, come as I am. So I hope I'm not too frightening. <laughs> but I'm feeling much better and I'm here with you in this video and this is the weekly astrological message for the week between the 19th and the 28th let's say for the next 10 days um, of February 2021 and here is where I talk about the celestial soup we're all swimming in all zodiac signs so basically the sky ah before we continue I want to say still have 30 percent COVID special discount uh, for all my readings courses and private lessons so if you want to utilize it, it won't be there forever you go ahead um, all my details are at the end at the slide um, <coughs> so the sky's energy is heightening and increasing until the full moon next Saturday it's a full moon in Virgo in the sign of Virgo trining Uranus and there's a Yod formation an exact yod formation that is appearing in the sky between Saturn and Aquarius on the one hand that's one leg of the yod then the moon in Virgo full moon in Virgo is the uh, top point of the yod and then Chiron in Aries as the other end of the yod and of course every yod has a special point just between those two uh, uh, um, planets and sextile that is about solving this whole dilemma allowing a healing to that whole quest that the Yod presents and that of course is the Sun in Pisces just across from the Moon so let's interpret this a minute and then I just want to remind you that until this full Moon the energies are heightening are heightening are heightening so what is this Yod about we begin with Saturn and Aquarius all the social seclusion and distancing the harshness and coldness we've been feeling throughout 2020 the um, being further away from one another and not being able to be warm not being able to sense a feeling of belonging of community of familial uh, and, 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 and you know very very uh, intimate feelings with other people some of that harshness some of that um, distancing needs to be cleared out needs to be uh, purified as we are getting in back into the normal set of things some of that humanity and warmth and in a sense the moisture of the womb symbolized by the moon needs to come back needs to come back in order for us to heal Virgo both ourselves our feelings of belonging our feelings of security our feelings of emotional sanity in a sense and our feelings of community of fellowship towards one another and why is this so important that we would do that job and there we go to the Chiron and Iris because we cannot do it alone there's a feeling and we know this old wound and that we need to uh, prove to somebody we were not sure to who is it to ourselves to our parents to our teachers to our peers to our bosses to society who do we need to prove ourselves to but there's a feeling that we all our lives that we need to prove ourselves because we're not good enough and there's a sensitivity there and that sensitivity and that uh, uh, handicapped feeling in a way which was nurtured by capitalistic liberal societies around the world seeing the individual and not the community as the most important thing and suddenly when that individual is so important but it, f it feels lacking in a way. It feels that there's some wound, that there's some sensitivity that makes him not as good and strong and able in Aries as the others. And in order to heal that and go back to communality, go back to the feeling of belonging, to helping each other, uh, in order for us not to feel secluded, 
not to feel alone, not to feel disconnected. Why, why, why do we need to do that? Why do we need to heal that wound in the big sense of things? And here we go to the sun of, in Pisces, just smack in the middle between those two planets. Because we're all the same. Because the only way we're going to really heal something, that we were going to really be able to do something about all the problems that we're facing commonly, is to understand that we're not separate. Is to understand that we're all the same and that we're all together on the spaceship Earth and we're drinking the same water and we're standing on the same earth and we need the same love and prosperity and stability and you know what it's not just us humans here it's everything that is alive feeling that feeling of unity that in the end of the day we are all the same Sun in Pisces in order for these droplets that we are alone in an ocean to feel and understand the recollection that we, the drops, make up the currents. We, the drops, make up the waves, the tsunamis that shape the, the shores we live on. Only together can we make a difference. And I truly feel that this year of Corona has given us a chance to tackle the biggest problems that we face. And how important it is that we are breathing here at this time. That you have been chosen to breathe here at this time. To be alive out of countless souls throughout the, the evolution of humanity. You are in the most important time to be alive. Able to take part in the shape-shifting of the human race and its evolution and its relationship with nature, with life, with creation, with other animals. No mistake there. No mistake there. So let's talk about <coughs> this week daily. Friday the 19th, we're having Venus, planet of relationship and uh, money squaring Mars. On the one hand, this is a wonderful time for sensual, sexual enjoyment. You know, it brings some spice into our relationships. But if our relationship, either with work or with our, with our uh, spouse, is, you know, um, imbalanced or stressed with something that was, you know, not talked about, it could jump to the surface. We become more impulsive and these times and we could actually um, be drawn or draw towards fights and separations so be careful Saturday the 20th nice trine by the moon to Saturn and Mercury and Jupiter as the as uh, Mercury starts moving forward thank goddess <laughs> Sunday the 21st a bit lethargic but as the day progresses it becomes much more enjoyable Monday the 22nd great day to be very flexible and enjoy that flexibility enjoy the fact that the world is changing so fast that we can't keep up with the pace we just need to ride that wave baby and enjoy it that you know new things are coming into your life this is not the time to be rigid this is not the time to try and hold things as they are, but actually to be flexible and allow the new into your life. Allow excitement into your life. Tuesday the 23rd, wonderful day for imagination, wonderful day for, for spending outside. Wednesday the 24th, a lot of energy there. And as it draws on, it becomes more obsessive and compulsive and total. So step away from your emotions on Wednesday evening night remember I'm talking about Eastern European time if you are in New York take it about nine hours before if you are in the Pacific of Australia take it about nine hours ahead Tuesday the 25th um, Mars is joining Pluto this is an aspect we're going to be feeling all through the week and next week this is actually about heightening the sense of inner strength understanding that the wells 
we seek to drink from are not out there they're in here all the power that we need would be drawn from inside not from the outside and this is actually brings a sense of a lot more um, not only strength but an ability to transcend difficulties an ability to um, um, draw things to a, favor a, a favorable conclusion and win um, however throughout Tuesday the 25th we need to be careful not to be too judgmental towards others who don't see things the way we do as uh, the Sun is also sextiling Uranus at that time and that really demands us to walk forward and take in the new and some people maybe would not be as excited as we are Friday the 26th is kind of conflictual as well and our emotions could be a bit unstable so this is a great day to remain a bit more logical especially with our relationships and then Saturday the 27th we have this full moon trining Uranus again talking about an upgrade talking about instability talking about the fast quickening pace of everything talking about the need to bring in the new to understand what we don't know uh, um, the, the, we can't chart a course ahead we need to float with it and of course Virgo you know healing giving service not becoming too perfectionist about it understanding that the worst enemy of very good is excellent that's the arch nemesis of very good is excellent so don't put the walls too high because the stress can build up and that's part of the healing process understanding that all we need is very good we don't need or can't always achieve the excellent and then Sunday the 28th there's a fi I'm sorry there's an earth trine in the sky between Mars and Pluto and the moon this is a time of rooting this is a time of putting those pegs into the ground and actually establishing some stability again talking about inner strength talking about the strength we get from our family community the people we belong to to um, you know understanding that this inner shelter that we have this safe harbor that we're building in our life this has a potential of providing us with all of the strength that we need to actually overcome all the tribulations that we face that's about everything I had to say I want to thank you for listening and spreading these videos and commenting on them as they expose them to more people this is Nia Filer. May we all live long and prosper. Amen.